hi, my name is Hussein, and today I'm going, to I'm going to pitch you a documentary about the conflict in Palestine, but which is called what happened, what actually happened in Gaza. Um, my love line is my, my documentary provides <clears throat> a current conflict in Palestine and like the struggles that they go through, and I'm, and I'm going to show this through interview and like interviewing people as well. Um, I chose these three for my, as my inspiration uh, because three of them is directly talking to, like, is related to my documentary. All, all three of them is like all about people, what happened to the people, how, how they affected the people. So that's what I want to do in my documentary as well. So that's why I chose these, these ones. Um, so my documentary is going to be about, as I said, the conflict in Palestine. So. I will, I will talk about what actually happened. I will start talking about um, the historical, why it happened for about like two minutes. Then after, I'll provide some proof. I'll put archive footage. I'll put um, for footage from Palestine, footage from before. And also, I'll have some interviews. Uh, for my expert, I'm thinking of someone that has already been in Palestine when, um, when the conflict was at, at its worst. So I'm gonna interview him and I'm gonna ask him about how it affected him and how it affected his family and everyone, people around him because he has loads of people that died around him. And also I'm gonna to go to the protest areas. I'm gonna interview people there because I wanna see what, what people think as well. So I'm gonna get as, much, as many as footage I can. Even though if I'm not gonna use them, I'm still gonna get the footages just in case for more footage. Um, for my visual film, um, for lightings, I will, look, I will use natural lighting for the authentic look. And also, at the same time, I'm gonna use some, like, some dramatic lighting for just the, like, you know, when I'm doing interviews, to get that emotional effect. And for editing, I'll, I will have a like, mixture of like, um, archive footages, some interviews and stuff. There's, there's no actors in the documentaries. It's gonna be me interviewing people and just the people, really. Yes. And the risks could be just I have to plan it well. So for me to plan it well, I have to actually like, when I ask for people to interview, I have to make sure I have backup plans. For example, I've, I have a plan to, I've, I have a plan with this person, for example, Monday at 2 p.m. If they don't turn up, I have to have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. So for, for it, to, and I think it's f f uh, feasible because it's something that's up to date. It's happening every day. So and there's loads of news about it. So I think yeah. it's really. Um, so the reason that people will love this because I want my documentary to educate and aware people, and I want to offer people deeper understanding of what happening, what what's happening in Palestine, and because because I'm going to have people, real people that have been in. in uh, like Gaza while it's happening. So it shows that it's actually something real. And I wanted to inspire people and I want to, I want to promote peace and justice. Thank you, that's it. Okay, thank you very much. No worries. Cheers.